I just think that overall, the Loewe actually looks more expensive if you're taking away the Chanel lettering and you're looking at it as a bag. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 12,000 subscribers, so any extra subscriptions would be much appreciated. Thank you so much. So I wanted to discuss the Loewe squeeze bag today. I've noticed it pop up on my Instagram uh, on Loewe's page. It's their latest it bag and I'm actually kind of like quite liking it so I wanted to uh, compare it to the Chanel 22 and other bags that are similar and you know have an open discussion with you guys as to whether it could be a really good bag to invest in for your wardrobe. I recently watched a YouTube review of it or in first impressions of it from Michelle Wang who recently purchased the Loewe squeeze bag and I think it actually looks quite nice. She described the leather as very soft feeling, uh, very luxurious to touch um, and she also showed us how you can adjust the bag. So it has this donut ball chain where you can either wear the bag crossbody or on your shoulder and you're able to manipulate the chain from the ring. So there's like two rings on the bag. There's like two slits in the rings and you have to line up the slits to uh, take it apart. It's not the easiest to do, but once you understand how to do it, it works. And the reason the way they didn't just do like a clip or something is they wanted it to be like a seamless finish. And I really like how you can adjust this bag to exactly where you want it. I've discussed this before in my videos, but being able to adjust your bag to your body proportions or where you like it to sit, like, you know, some people like high crossbody, some people like low, some people like shoulder. I think this was a very smart move for Loewe because it means that it becomes more versatile, whether you're really tall, short, uh, you like to wear shoulder bags, you can really style this in a multitude of ways, which I think gives it an advantage advantage against bags like the Chanel 22. Now, I think you guys know my thoughts on the Chanel 22 if you watch my channel. I'm not a huge fan of it. And then you might be asking, like, then why are you a fan of the Loewe um, squeeze bag? Well, let's just compare them, guys. So the Chanel 22 obviously came out in 2022, and I feel like it really spurred on the popularity of hobo bags. The Chanel 22 to me has always reminded me of a trash bag and I think it went, when it was first released a lot of people felt the same that it was a waste of money not worth it but upon a lot of people buying it they've said that it's a really practical bag really easy to style and I would agree stylistically it could be quite easy to wear because it's very casual it's like a dump bag you just throw your things in there but the con of the Chanel 22 is that there has been quite a few complaints with the quality and the leather peeling, it feeling quite plasticky like PVC. And that's something that I personally experienced as well upon feeling a Chanel 22. It reminded me of a, like a free cosmetics case you get at Clinique or something. It really did not feel amazing, the leather. And that's something that I think if you're going to make a bag so simple, it really needs to at least showcase um, luxurious leather or beautiful hardware which to me the Chanel 22 is lacking not to mention that the um, medium Chanel 22 is 10,000 ish Australian dollars which is an eye-wateringly big amount of money to pay on a bag that looks like a trash bag but I'm also not a huge fan of the medallion charm hanging off and the bold Chanel lettering I know that the Chanel branding in a way, it's, it's you know, what sells the bag. People like to show that they're wearing a Chanel bag. And I guess these extra elements of the bag showcase that it's a Chanel bag, which is what a lot of people would like to show to other people. But sometimes you don't want this giant branding on you. And I know for some people it's it's nice, but I think on this particular bag, it it doesn't really, yeah, I guess it's kind of like compensating for like the lack of the quality of the leather. They just, yeah, it just seems like a bit, like you're obviously buying it for the brand Chanel and there's, it's lacking in other areas. I think as a brand, Chanel is much more desired than other brands because it, it it's built such a 
fantasy around the brand. They're really good at telling stories. They're really good at having amazing fashion shows. Obviously, there's a lot of heritage and history behind Chanel, and there are so many diehard fans who collect Chanel bags. So there are a lot of people who are proud to say like their bag is a Chanel bag, but I don't know. It's got to a point where I feel like for me personally, if I'm buying a bag, I'm not always going to purely buy it because it's a certain brand. I also need it to be excellent quality and feel really good quality. And to me, the Chanel 22 was lacking those details. Um, and also comparing to like the drawstring effect on each of the bags, the little wave squeeze bag and the Chanel 22. When I look at the Chanel 22, the the kind of ruching of the drawstring, it doesn't look as pleasing to me as the way they've done it in the Loewe bag. The Loewe bag, it looks a lot more uniform, uh, precise, kind of more um, sophisticated in the way that it's done. I think that the it has less of that obvious trash bag, dust bag look, and it's a little bit more elevated than the Chanel bag. Also, the, the Loewe bag is a better price point at the $6,000 Australian mark, so it is several thousands of dollars less than the uh, Chanel 22. And it also, they pride themselves in their leather, which is something that really drew me to the bag. Now, in the description on the Loewe website, it says that it's a sophisticated and feminine bag in a buttery Nappa leather. It is a masterpiece of traditional craftsmanship, innovation, innovative research and distinctive design with a surprisingly light ruched body and adjustable donut chain and a tactile squeezy handle but I like how they've gone into detail with the description of like you know what it is and like the details behind it whereas as you know guys when you go on the Chanel website it literally just says shiny calfskin and gold tone metal black so I don't know. In terms of like romancing me with the materials and the craftsmanship, Chanel is not really doing that with this bag. I think you're purely buying the 22 because it's a Chanel bag and it says Chanel. Whereas the Loewe, I do think is a little bit more innovative because of that adjustable donut chain and the beautiful um, leather that they have in this bag. You can see it's beautiful leather by the way it kind of has that natural buttery look to it whereas the Chanel has a bit more of like a plasticky sheen to it especially in the new caviar version I just don't think that this looks that nice it looks a little bit like a basketball but I, I just think that overall the Loewe actually looks more expensive if you're taking away the Chanel lettering and you're looking at it as a bag, the Loewe does look more expensive. I prefer the medallion on the Loewe one as well. That it's more stylized. It's it's kind of like a beautiful shiny hardware. As the Chanel 22 is like this brushed, like kind of gross hardware. The Loewe is to me um, standing out in in terms of the material look, the overall look. And I do like how the branding is still there, but it's a lot more subtle. You know, you're not, it's not bang like studded into the bag. I think it's a little bit more tasteful the way that it's done tasteful. Yeah. I just prefer the, uh, you know, it's sh it's showcasing more the chain than the, um, the brand. I, I like the balance with this bag and I haven't even got onto the a donut part yet. So um, this little, like, sorry, the, this little, like, thing that's, like, balancing on her shoulder kind of looks like a little sausage or something, but, um, apparently, uh, it's got some, like, 3D printed, uh, like, foam stuff inside or rubber, and when you squeeze it, it's really, um, soft and it, it feels really nice on your shoulder. So, it's got that kind of, like, luxurious experience as well. They've really thought through, like, the comfort-wise, they've thought through of, like, the adjustability, You've got like the tactileness from the buttery soft leather. I just think overall when you use this bag, it's going to feel more luxurious. Also, the Chanel 22 comes with an extra pouch, which you don't get with the Loewe bag. But I mean, I've heard the extra pouch is super underwhelming and it feels like a fake PVC uh, pouch. I recently watched uh, IMGPS's review of the Chanel 22 bag as well. And he said that it didn't feel that great. To be honest, it felt a little bit like something you could get at a fast fashion store. So I, I just think that when you're buying a designer bag, you want it to feel like good quality, right? I've actually heard some people compare the new Loewe squeeze bag to the 
Saint Laurent Mombasa bag, which was a bag from the early 2000s. And yeah, I can see the similarities there. It's got the same kind of chunky um, thing on the top and the more hobo bag uh, style. There's also, um, you know, the Bottega sardine bag that's also been um, kind of compared to the Mombasa bag. And uh, from Bottega, I also noticed they had a very similar hobo shape um, as Lueva and Chanel, and it's the uh, foulard bag. So it's another kind of like trash bag shape, and it's got the kind of metal hardware on the top. And it's reminded me of the Loewe a little bit, just because it's got that like thing on the top and then the slouchiness. And you can get it in uh, the woven leather, or you can get it in the plain leather. Uh, this bag is still less than the Chanel bag, so I think it's around $7,000 for the woven one. And um, I think this actually looks quite... This is a really nice option as well, I thought. Although I don't know if that metal part would be that comfortable on the shoulder, because if you're comparing to like the squeeze bag, I think that would be much more comfortable. And I do like the the um, idea of being able to adjust the chain with the squeeze bag. I think that would make it a lot more functional than the the Bottega Foulard bag, but I thought this was another interesting option if you wanted like a really soft leather bag and something a little bit more minimal in that hobo silhouette. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the Loewe squeeze bag. I think it's a really nice option. I quite like it. I, I probably won't be buying it myself, not because I don't like it, but because I already have, um, I've been using my trim bag a lot, which I... I usually just use my Trim 35 from Hermes and uh, this one has been a really nice kind of like hobo bag that I've been wearing, really easy to style. Um, so I would recommend hobo bags as a bag, like if you if you haven't bought a hobo bag, they're really easy to wear. You can throw a lot of things in it, um, it's super comfy and I don't think that the hobo bag trend is slowing down anytime soon, I'm sure we'll see more kind of brands do this like shoulder bag look because it's really practical and it's like kind of an elevated tote bag which I think a lot of people uh, in this day and age just want bags that are comfortable and easy to wear so yeah thanks for watching my video today hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one bye